Hello, I'm Ranger Jeremy Hulse and welcome to the first episode of a five-part series, Maple Mondays. We will be releasing a short video every Monday in March as part of the first ever virtual maple syrup festival, organized by the Friends of Cunningham Falls and Gambrel State Parks. In this episode, we will discuss how to identify maple trees for tapping by their leaves, bark, and fruit. We'll provide a few simple things to help get you started, but having field guides to reference will prove quite useful down the road. Maple trees have leaves with pointed lobes, each separated by a deep indentation. The leaves are dark green in color during the summer, turning to magnificent shades of bright orange and red in the fall. The bark of young maples is smooth and gray, but as it matures, it will form grooves, also called fissures or furrows. Maple trees can also be identified by their fruit, known as samaras, or more commonly as helicopters or spinners. Several species of maples are suitable for sap collection. Sugar and red maple yield the best sugar content at around 3% and are the most common species found locally. The recommended minimum diameter for tapping is 10 inches, but the best yields often come from larger trees in the 12 to 24 inch range. When deciding where to tap, you should look for suitable trees found clumped together in stands, preferably on low, south-facing slopes that receive plenty of sunlight. Such areas are a bit warmer than others, which helps to raise the temperature of the sap and increase flow on colder days. Thanks for joining us. Proceeds from our annual Maple Syrup Festival support our nonprofit partners as well as local maple syrup producers. Please visit CunninghamGambrel.org where you can find more information about the festival and shop for local made syrup and other maple products. In the next episode, we'll explore the tree tapping process itself, so stay tuned and we'll see you on our next Maple Monday.